A walk down memory lane today in South Euclid, a bittersweet day for students, alumni, teachers with ties to Regina High School. For some, strolling into Regina High School today was taking steps back in time. Today is the Regina High School Tour of Memories. That's because after more than 50 years, the Catholic school will close its doors at the end of the school year. The school really meant a lot to me. It gave me a great start. I live in Annapolis, Maryland now. I'm a pharmacist. I'm really sad to just see it, to see the school closing because it was, you know, an important part of my Life. Pictures pressed between the pages of a photo album and memories of times gone by are forever etched in the minds and on the hearts of former students and former teachers. Regina becomes a part of your heart and the girls become a part of your heart. And so when it's not the building, definitely not the building, it's the people who are in it. Thousands of girls have sat in these classrooms and learned reading, writing, and arithmetic. But for some in the class of 1972, they learned a lesson in friendship. I have about six classmates here, and three of them came. One came from Maryland, one came from Florida, and one came from Georgia. Every year we go on a trip. There's about five of us that, that have continued to be very close. And we're all over the country, actually. Regina was so great. Uh, it was great coming to school here. I made one Wonderful, wonderful friends that I still keep in contact with, and we get together every year. Um, the Catholic education was superb. And that stroll back in time for the women here today captured one last memory. And administrators say declining enrollment and tough economic times are to blame for the closing. The school's last day will be June 4th.